Hi there, Steph. Thanks for popping by. So today I'm sharing with you my version of mass production. It's a small mass production. Uh, it's about 10 to 11 cards, but I just wanted to show you how I did it. Let's say the fastest way possible that I could. So I'm doing little shaker cards for my son to give to his friend at nursery because it's last day tomorrow. And I will attach some sweets to the little shaker cards. I've picked three different themes I thought children would like. So dinosaur, space and robots. And then I took three pieces of Nina Solo white card and I stamped the images with some memento tuxedo black which is copic resistant. Once I was done with the stamping, I started doing some colouring. In order to save time, I've picked a colour for each design and I just repeated the same colouring on all of them, which makes it go much, much faster. And it's, you know, it saves a lot of time. Uh, you don't have to think about where you place the shading and things like that, because you already know. Um, so that did help me quite a lot. Once I was done with all the color, I'll show you the coloring for each images, but once I was done with the coloring, I did some fussy cutting for most of them, uh, not for the robot ones, because the lines are too fine, and I could really have done with some dice there, uh, but I don't have them, so I just cut around them and left a little border. Uh, but for the other ones, I did some fussy cutting and, you know, it worked out fine. I just, uh, I placed them onto a little piece of card in a shaker envelope. So in terms of colour, I picked my favourite colour combo, uh, which is this kind of blue-green. It's BG's marker, BG markers, sorry, uh, with yellow. And I think it works really well. I, I don't know why, I always like this colour combo as... You know, it works for space, it works for flowers, I think it's really cool. Uh, and then I picked green for the alien. Regarding the robots, I obviously went for a metallic kind of um, look. So I used my um, cool grey marker, sorry. And I've done that combo many times, so you know it already. But just in case, uh, it's, I, I actually this time I used black, but it's very, very light you know i didn't use much black uh but i did it was uh, 100 c7 c5 c3 c1 and then i go back c1 c3 c5 c7 and 100 and i do the same thing for both robots for one i i made the darker part maybe a little bit you know it's a bit darker on one robot than the other but it's the same combo color uh, and then I picked some red and some purple um, for the colourful part, but this one remains, I suppose we could say, quite neutral in a way. Uh, then for the dinosaur, I went, you know, it's it's a different theme, so it's a completely different colour scheme, so I went for earthy colours. Uh, I can't remember the colour numbers, but, you know, it doesn't matter that much. Um, I do know that I used the sand colour one, which I think looks quite cool with these darker colours. Um, you get a good contrast between the pose, I'm not sure if you say pose for a dinosaur, the legs of the dinosaur and the back. Um, and then I did the lips, and I quite like this green combo as well. It's not quite the the... Christmas green, it's more like the earthy green, if you know what I mean. Uh, then for the dinosaur, the baby dinosaur, I remain very neutral. Uh, it's a baby dinosaur, so I thought I would do a very light pink. Anyway, once I was done with all of that, I did all the fussy cutting off camera, obviously. And then I picked a few pieces of cardstock that I thought would go quite well with the colours I picked. I the sorry the images are colored <laughs> um once i was done with that i placed the little pieces of cardboard um inside my sleeves so these are memory keeper sleeves so it's the same brand than the fuse tool uh that's all my sequence i just wanted to show you the storage system i was using which i think is really cool it was not cheap by any means but it's pretty good. I never had any accidents like I've had with other storage, sequence storage. So I'm actually, I think it's worth the money. I'm not sure if they're still for sale, to be honest, because I think I got lucky enough to find that one last year, just before Christmas. Um, but it's a really good storage system, so I wanted to share that with you. Um, one thing that I've done for the dinosaur that I couldn't do for the robot is that I did the edges in black so it would look really neat. For the robot I left a little white margin so obviously I couldn't do the edges in black. But uh, for this one I did and I think it looks better. Even if it's in a shaker card it's quite nice because, you know, it ties, it's all tied up together and it, it goes quite nicely. So I put all my little sequins elements in all my little pockets. Oh, I let the fuse tool heat up for like, whew, 20 minutes. Um, I'm not saying you have to lay it up for that long, 
but that's what I ended up doing. Uh, I thought, well, I'm going to plug it now. I was doing something else. And then I started doing the cards. And, you know, I think I think it's a good thing to let it heat up for a while. Because if it's not hot enough, then it's going to ruin your plastic sleeves. And, you you know, you're wasting your time and your materials. So I let it heat up quite a while. Uh, then I used my... Um, can't remember the name now, you know, my punch, uh, which I bought last year just before Christmas as well. And um, that and a few stools are things I had for Christmas last year. And I didn't really get a chance to use that much. And I thought really, you know, if you spend money on things or if you ask people to buy things for you, you should find a way to use them. So I've tried that. Um, and I really like this little pocket and I hope the children will like it. I think it's quite fun for little kids to have this shaking element. So here I go for the little alien and the little astronaut. I tried to do something a bit more fun, so I tried different layout. Uh, I mean, for the dinosaur, I was a bit stuck because it's quite a large image. But for this two, I thought it was quite fun to put them on the top of each other and do something a little bit more fun and, you know, for kids. Um, so here I go with the fuse tool. I don't have a lot of advice for the fuse tool because myself sometimes I still struggle. Like you can see here, I'm, I went several times, I rolled several times because I didn't feel like it was fused properly. And I mean, it was hot. There was no doubt it was hot. So I think when I rolled the fuse tool, if I rolled the tool too horizontally, I don't think it works that well. I think it needs to be really vertical for the wheel to roll properly and really fuse the sleeve together. Uh, what I found is sometimes when I have a doubt that it's fused properly, I just slide my finger along the fuse line. And if I can't feel the fuse line at the back, then I know it's not melted properly. Um, and it's really hard to explain. I think it's the more of this little shaker pocket you make, the more you know how it feels and if it feels right. Um, but if you have a doubt, try to refuse on the top of it. But do... Do, do it so that the wheel rolls rather than drag because if it drags it will just melt but it won't fuse then you end up with a hole and then it's just it's a whole other trauma um so once i was done with that i did all the little holes and i added all my little eyelet and i mean that punch is once again it's not cheap but it works really well i had another punching system before and you know the thing that squeezed the eyelet it was what they call the quiet one. I don't know why, because that one doesn't make that much sound. Um, but honestly, it wasn't It wasn't near as good. That one is very good. So I'm really happy with it. So anyway, once I was done with that, I took a little bit of thread. I attached the switch together. And then I roll it and I attached it to the shaker cards. And that's how I would give it to a nursery tomorrow to give to the children. I hope they like it. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you find it interesting. It's another type of tag type thing you know to do uh different from a card but uh, still i think entertaining and pleasant to receive so thanks for watching and have a great day bye